Welcome back to The Big Build. I'm Robin Clevett and in this episode I'm going to explain about the water main and moulding it in. Now I've mentioned this in previous videos, the fact that we've had to run a duct to the inside of the building. This is where the new kitchen is going to be. We're having a kitchen sink on this wall and a dishwasher and we want to bring the main for the building in here. The old main is rubbish. So we've put a duct in and it travels down through into this point. Now the guys are here now and they're moulding in a whole series of pipework to different locations on site. These guys are specialists, they've got some great equipment. It's basically a hydraulic mole that punches its way through the clay. They dig down and they punch it through, dig another hole and they find it. It's actually incredible to watch. So we'll go and have a look and see how they're getting along. So basically, how they mould something is they'll dig a series of holes in the direction of the pipe. And depending on the ground conditions would allow them to dig them a bit further apart. In this instance here, the ground's awful. We know that, we've had some issues in the ground with foundations. I mean, look at this. We've got huge bits of hardcore here. We've got bricks, we've got concrete. Now, what this should be on a farm is lovely ground, but it's like over the years, people have just basically filled the ground with rubble. Um, if you have a look from this side, I'll actually point out where one of the holes is, so it's been mould through. So this is a water main pipe. This is a typical pipe. Now this is gonna be fed through the holes. I'm gonna show you the mould in a minute. And you'll see down there, where my hammer is, that is one of the holes, it's already done. And it's incredible how they do it. They basically set the mole up and they aim it in the right direction. And it takes a lot of experience um, of the product, of the tool, to actually get this right. Sometimes it does hit something under the ground and disappear off and they have to dig it out, which is unfortunate. So um, they, the guys are just digging another hole behind me here. All right, mate. How are we getting on there? Load of rubbish. Load of rubbish. Is it? So what's in that, in uh, this one here? That's your main in, is it? No, this is the actual stop got control and the taps, which are just found the garden. Oh, okay. It's gonna be moved down to there once it's on the actual meter side. Oh, I see, I can see one of the pipes there. So that pipe is, is one, of the, one of the ones you're replacing, is it? Yeah, this is one we are replacing. Okay, mate, that's good. The ground's awful, isn't it? It is awful. Better, deeper. Yeah, once right. you get below, right below this bit where they've messed around with it, yeah. So you're going to shift that one as well. God, you've got a big job on here. Lucky you've got that excavator. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's go and see where he's, where he's moulding from the other end. There's his compressor. And over here, the compressor hose is driving the mole. All right. How's it, get, how's it going, this one, all right? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. You missed that whatever it was. On the end of there is like a ram. What do you call it? That's a thrust borer. A thrust borer. Alright, so it's actually called a thrust borer and the mole is the nickname, but everyone says I'm going to mole in a water main. It doesn't do that, no. No, no it's got no claws on the end. But it's, so it's a thrust borer. I much prefer that, a thrust borer. And it's brilliant, and he's aiming that through there, and he's going to hopefully come out the other end. Success! Yeah, and it's a hole. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? What a great technology, saving digging out all of this here. It's amazing clean work and it's at the regulation depth which is key it's just brilliant
So the last part of the molding or the thrust boring is they're pulling the pipe through. This is the last bit now, and you're gonna go through our ducts and up into where the building's gonna be. So how far we gotta go? Nearly there. Nearly there, two and a half meters. Come on then, let's have it. Yeah, let's hope it passes up this, otherwise I'm in trouble. 90 degrees on that. Yeah, it's a bend. Now I've tested already, it does bend. It's it's bend. Give it a little bit yeah, and then... You went that way, didn't you? Same give it a little wiggle, I can you see went it. down that way, didn't you? There you go. Just need to put some, bit, some elbow grease into it. <laughs> That's an old saying, the elbow grease. Oh, well, I can see it. See there. Yeah, that needs hoiker. Let's have a hoiker then. Um, Hock. Ready, Carl? Yeah. Oh. That's it. Yeah. There we are. Okay, let's have it then. So lucky I managed to get that all sorted out for you then, wasn't it? Luckily, all those 30 years. A little bit of banter, we love a bit of banter. Well, that's looking good now, guys. It'll be ideal till the proper watermen get in. <laughs> now, good job. Absolutely fantastic, that. Look at that, lovely. Perfect. We love it, brilliant. So by doing the water main under the ground without digging huge trenches, you can clearly see that it saves a lot of time. In, indeed, there's a couple of holes that the guys have already done when they've gone off in one direction. This was done yesterday. And when they put things back, they get the same amount of earth that has come out back in the ground. They compact it really well. They even put the turf back over the top. It's so non-disruptive compared to digging great big trenches and having, you know, muck and spoil everywhere. It's a really nice way of doing it. So I think if you're ever in the market of having to put a new water main in, really look into this, having it mould or thrust board under the ground, especially if you've got a nice driveway or something, you know, it's just perfect. Anyway, I hope you've kind of enjoyed that insight into moulding or thrust boring. Join me again soon on the big build.